United then extend their lead over Jurgen Klopp's side to three points, still 12 adrift though of City at the top of the table. Big talking point at the moment, of course, is the future of Alexis Sanchez. He's been heavily linked to a move to Manchester United and Manchester City over the last couple of weeks as we welcome Julian Laurent to the show. However, that seems to have switched gears somewhat over the last few hours, Julian. ESPN FC sources suggesting that Manchester City are done. They're out the race. They don't want to pay his wages. And Chelsea, meanwhile, are looking to hijack the Manchester United deal for the Chilean. Yeah, you're right. And so United hijacked the deal from, <laughs> uh, from City for Alexis and now Chelsea trying to hijack the deal for United. Yes, that's where we are. City are out. They don't want a bidding war. They don't want to increase the offer they made to Alexis, who is reportedly wanting around £350,000 a week. That's the money he asked for PSG in the summer. PSG said no. He thought City would offer of that, they were not so sure. And then United arrived and said, yeah, no problem. We give you that money, come to us. And you know what? I'm not sure Chelsea would match that offer. That's a lot of money for yep. a 30-year-old. Or be, you know, a very good player, world-class player, but still a lot of money. 400 or over $400,000 a week. Let's take a look at this team by team, shall we? Yep. Starting off with Manchester City. Yeah, well, I think they're a, little, a lot annoyed about the way the business was conducted in the transfer window in August. And I think that's continued, and then they've become frustrated what's happened uh, now in the price that Arsenal went shift, and as Julian said, the wages as well. Look, if it was all about winning the Premier League and potentially winning the Champions League, then Alexis Sanchez would take a cut in those wages yep. and go to Man City. I mean, that, that, that would be the sensible football move, but if it is all about the money for him, then the likelihood is it's going to be Man United. And, and listen, for Man United, that's a great move as well. Who needs him more, United or Chelsea? Um, I think right now Chelsea needs him more. Uh, the fact that they're trying to hijack this tells you that they're searching. It tells you they're looking for a spark or a yep. move or something to get them going, because right now the form they're in is, well, it's awful. So... Chelsea need him right now. The long term, I think he's better for Man Manchester United. I go to Man United. If I got the choice of those two, yeah. you know, at the moment, I, I, even though we've been critical of Mourinho, such a big club, they are going to spend money. They will go again in the in the summer in the transfer window, in my opinion. Uh, and I think, as Stevie says, I mean, they, he would go into Man United and completely enhance their team. From a Chelsea perspective, if they are going to lose Eden Hazard at some point, potentially to Real Madrid then that would kind of soften that blow yeah. if they were to lose a player of that out. But let's not forget as well, Sanchez is 29. Yeah. So it's not exactly a long-term plan. But then Chelsea don't really think long-term in terms of the transfer strategy. Given what we saw from Manchester City at the weekend, is it a mistake playing hardball with Alexis Sanchez? Do they not need him if they're going to solidify this, this great campaign? Talk of obviously <clears throat> the quadruple... Uh, no, I don't, I, I don't think so. Listen, let, let's just calm down. They've lost one game. Um, they do need somebody that, but but you got to you got to look at Pep Guardiola. You know he's pulled Dell from nowhere and turned him into a left back. I'm sure he'll make some sort of move with the with the players he has, and 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 they'll still be excellent. So I I, I don't have a problem. You got Bernard de Silva, they got uh, Sani, they got Sterling, got David Silva, got De Bruyne, they got all these players. If he wanted to play with that false number nine or whatever you want to call it, if Jesus injury doesn't heal as quickly and Aguero gets injured, there are, there are options there that mm. they can still play a very attacking style. His concern about getting people in is still where he's been looking for months and months, and that is the centre-half position.